six, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here with today's 3 Minute Thursday. Today we're going to have a short conversation on the proper way to think about a hydrostatic pedal. One of the cool things that's been coming from these videos has been from the guys that leave comments down at the bottom. I recently did a video on the most misunderstood control on a compact tractor and talked about the valve down here that controls how your three-point hitch responds. And I was really surprised by the number of guys that pointed out the hydrostatic pedal and how many people they feel uh, didn't really understand mechanically how it's working. Uh, your hydrostat pedal is going to be found down on the deck of your tractor, right? It's what drives your tractor between forward and reverse, and it's attached to a range selector, usually a low, medium, high that determines how fast your tractor is going to travel. Uh, one thing that guys tend to not think about when they think about this pedal is mechanically what it's doing. So I like to describe the hydrostatic pedal more as a gear selector than a speed pedal, right? As you push this pedal down, the further you press it down, the effectively the higher gear that you're in. So say you're going to push your loader into a pile of dirt and you need to work into it and fill that bucket up. The man in all of us is going to pull up to that pedal, that pile of dirt, and mash this pedal the whole way to the floor because we want to go, right? We want to push into that pile of dirt as hard as we can and fill that bucket. But that's actually the opposite of what you want to be doing, right? That's, that's our tendency. We want to push. But this pedal, as you push it down, the further you push that pedal down, effectively the higher gear that you're in. You think of it as a gear selector. So if you want to be in first gear in order to push hard into that pile of dirt, you want to push gently on the pedal. You don't want to take it and bury it. What happens mechanically when you bury that pedal and you push really hard and you're in too high of a gear? Is your hydrostatic transmission is pumping fluid through ports and orifices and hydraulic motors. And eventually, if the tractor can't push forward, the transmission's going to go into relief. And you can usually, usually audibly hear a whine or something from your hydrostat when that happens. And in a mechanical hydrostatic, you'll feel the pressure kind of drop out behind the pedal. All of a sudden, it'll go a little bit more limp than it was before. And that's the hydraulic system going into relief. And when you do that, when that system goes into relief, you've now lost all of your pushing power, right? So yes, go up to your pile of dirt, go into your application. When you want that push forward, yeah, creep the pedal down but be gentle. Take a slighter touch to it so that you don't push that hydrostatic transmission into relief. So a little bit about the hydrostat pedal. I got about 200 other videos here on YouTube explaining the ins and outs of operating tractors and equipment and their features and functions. If this is new to you, take a look. You'll learn a lot from going back through and watching a lot of them. So uh, if you got any parts, sales, or service needs, give us a call at Messix, 800-222-3373 or online at Messix.com.